afternoon traders. In this video, I'm going to show you just how well the new Weeble desktop platform is performing. So if we go over here to settings, you can see which version this is. 5.1.10. Today's July 19th. I downloaded this this morning. I believe it was released today or yesterday. So let's go to the markets page and I'm just going to kind of pick a stock at random here. One that's going up in green and has plenty of volume, AEHR. We're going to take a test trade live and we're going to check the candlestick formation. So let's go to the single chart view and we're going to look. So here is AEHR. There's about 15 seconds left on this candle. And as soon as a one minute candle makes a new high, I'm going to take a position just with one single share just to show you how well this works. Obviously, this is kind of an extended move, not necessarily a trade I would normally take, but this isn't about winning a trade. This is about showing you the performance of the platform. So here comes the next one minute candle there. And you can see that the previous candle did not continue to change its formation. And that was one of the main issues that Weeble desktop, desktop excuse me, was having really since its inception. The one minute candles were never really forming properly. They used to continue to change after the next one minute candle would begin to form. So that was one of the main things that Weeble was working on and trying to fix. And they wrote me personally and said that they had optimized the candlestick formation on this version. So I'm just looking for an entry here. And it appears that they were successful. So um, I want to see the high of a one minute candle break and then I'll get in. So we've got about 10 seconds left on this candle. So I should focus on the high of this candle, which is 466. So if I see anything above 466 on the next candle, I will get in. And you're going to see a stop loss and take profit order placed at the same time because that's how I have my hotkey set up. There we go. And I triggered my entry. It got filled in a little high. That's okay. I'm going to bring the stop loss up and see how easy, easy and uh, quick you can move the stop loss. Everything looks like it's working just fine. And now I'll use my 2R calculator. Actually, I could just do this in my head because this is a really easy one. We're up six cents, so we need to see 12 cents profit. So 480 will be 2R. So even though this is not a trade I would normally take, I'm just going to kind of use my normal trading system. If I get stopped out, so be it. I'm just trying to show you the performance of the system, not the trading system of the desktop platform. So it looks like we're going to get stopped out here. We'll see how quickly everything happens. And then I can show you the orders at the end and you can see where all the fills were and all that kind of stuff. So this is a weird time to be trading. It's like two in the afternoon, Eastern time, definitely not a normal time that I would trade at, but again, just a good opportunity to show you how the new platform is working out. And I wanted to show it to you live. So I know this is, this is kind of dragging on a bit uh, since we're just sitting here in this order, waiting for this order to play out or for this trade to play out. But I wanted to do this live with no edits so you could see how the platform is really working. I would not be surprised to get stopped out of this trade because you can see that it's made a huge run already. This run began around 120 and so here we are uh, about 40 minutes later. <laughs> We're just now getting into it. So it's very likely that we'll get stopped out of this trade, but that is not the point. So it looks like we're going to get stopped out. And this, this whole trade is going to cost us six cents, which is well worth it just to see uh, the platform work live. And that's the point. Okay, looks like a lot of buyers are coming in. You can see on the time and sales. Pushing the price back up. So 
So a lot of resistance there at that 473 level. You can see as soon as it tapped that, tons of sellers came in. You don't really need the time and sales up. But that's the, just part of this, uh, like the default setting on uh, Weeble. But I mean, you could see the same thing right there in the candlestick. That's my cat in the background, if you can hear him. All right, looks we almost got stopped out there. So the bid actually has to come down to that 462 level in order, uh, not just the price. You know, the market price could come down to 462 and you might not get stopped out, but we, but the bid has to come down to 462 in order to get stopped out. And the reason why that is is because I'm trying to sell one share at 462 and who can you sell to? The buyers. The buyers are at the bid. So if the bid doesn't come down to 462 then the stop loss will not get filled. This was had to be an ask order at 462. Either that or there were some other orders filled and they ran out of shares and then it popped up before it even came down back down to fill me. Those are the only two possibilities. I was hoping this trade would would end a little sooner, but again, just want to put out a live video. Of course, you can fast forward through these parts, but a live unedited video of Weeble working in action, this new version 5.1.10. I traded with it this morning. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. The candlesticks were forming perfectly. All of my executions worked flawlessly. I took three trades and uh, everything worked great. I had no issues. So this is the, honestly, this is the best I've seen Weeble perform since the beginning. It's never performed this well. And if you watch all of my videos, you know that I'm always, you know, willing to call Weeble out on their glitches and their problems. And I contact customer support regularly. I tell them exactly what's going on. I send them videos of the issues and they always get back to me and uh, are usually working, seems like they're working very hard to fix the problems. And I think the, the proof is in the pudding on this version. So it looks like we're in a bit of a sideways move here. Just in the interest of ending this video early, I might drag my stop up if this thing starts to go higher. Even if it doesn't hit my profit target, I would never ever do this in a real trade Looks like I might not have to. But I haven't seen one single one minute candlestick glitch since we started recording this chart. Well, I'm going to move this up one cent just to the bottom of this kind of upward trend. Just in the interest of getting out of this trade sooner to end this video. So if it stops me out, I don't want to hang out all afternoon trying to see if this thing hits my profit target. Again, this is not a way to trade. This is just a way to show you how this platform is working. I do not trade like this. Whenever I trade, I place my stop loss and my profit target and I just leave them there. I never move them. Unless I made a mistake on my, you know, order entry or not on the order entry, but on my uh, two R calculator.
All right, let's just drag this thing up because this is taking way too long. Again, this is not about the trading. This is about the platform performance. So there we go. Got stopped out. You can see everything is working instantaneously. I'm sorry that trade dragged on for so long, but I was, again, just trying to show you guys live, real time, no edits, how this thing is working. Let's just take a look at the orders. All right. So if you, if you watch my live trade recap from this morning, you know that I was trading, uh, CYTK, so that's what those trades are. And then this trade here, AEHR, so we bought uh, one share. So you can see that it says limit price 477. That's because I have my hotkeys set to buy up to 10 cents higher than wherever I trigger them at. So I got filled at 468, and then uh, we just sold that out at 469 just to get out of the trade. And I had my stop loss here uh, or that was my profit target. My profit target was 480. We used the stop loss to get out of the uh, the trade, so that's why it's showing at 469 because I dragged it up to that level. So anyway, I, hopefully this video is helpful to you. Sorry that that trade took so long. Uh, it's really hard to plan something like that out because it was completely live, and you know I just didn't know how long it was going to take. But I just wanted to show you something completely unedited. And you can see Weeble performing live. So hopefully it was helpful. Hit the like button if it was. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions about Weeble. Make sure you download this latest version because it is by far the best desktop version that they've ever had. So uh, I just would not be trading unless you have the most recent version. All right. As always, go into every single trade with a plan. Follow your plan. Stick to it no matter what. Always take your stop losses, honor your profit target, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.